Hello! This is a Forge scripting tutorial which covers switch broadcasters. Um, broadcasters are any Forge object that is able to either turn on or off a particular broadcast channel. Um, so we will first go into the broadcaster menu which is under the place object menu under scripting and then we want switch broadcasters, so they're under switches and there's three different types, there's on and then there is off and then there is toggle and we'll just start with switch on here to go over the basics of a switch broadcaster so for a switch broadcaster it is a broadcaster that activates whenever you hold the use button when you're close to it and then because this is a switch on broadcaster when this broadcaster activates it will turn on a broadcast channel and uh, with these switches it doesn't matter what direction it's facing or you're facing as long as you're close to it you will get this prompt to activate it um, so there we have, we've activated it, but nothing's happened because we haven't actually sent it to any broadcast channels yet. So to do that we go into its options menu, under scripting, and then broadcast channel. So on minus one, that's the default, and it means it won't actually broadcast any channel at all. So if we switch that over now to zero, then that means now that when we activate this broadcaster it's going to go ahead and turn on broadcast channel zero. Uh, if we were to use this at this point, still nothing would happen, because there's nothing listening on that channel. So we're going to go ahead now and create a fusion coil, because we can get those to listen on the channel and then blow up. And to get that to happen, we go into the fusion coils object options under scripting, and again go to the broadcast channel, and we match that up to our switch, which is zero. So in this case, this isn't the channel it's going to broadcast on, this is the channel it's going to listen on and when that channel is on, the fusion coil will blow up. So we can go ahead and do that now. We shall hit the button. It'll activate the broadcaster, which turns on the channel. The fusion coil hears that and goes, oh, I guess I should blow up. And it goes ahead and does that. And that's how it all works. Um, so there were two other types of switches. So I've here's one I've done earlier. So we've got the switch on, which we just saw, and then the switch off, so when the this broadcaster activates, instead of turning on a broadcast channel, it will turn off a broadcast channel. And then the final one, here is the switch toggle, and with this one, when this broadcast is activated, it will flip between on or off for the broadcast channel. So if the broadcast channel is currently off, it'll flip it to on. If it's currently on, it'll flip it to off, so it switches between them. And so we've got all these set up against this garage door, and we're using broadcast channel 1. The door, when the channel is on, will begin to close, and when the channel is off, will begin to open. Another thing here is that you can see that because the channel is currently already off, the switch off won't actually let you do anything. You can't switch to something that is already on. So we will first switch it on. We shall close the door. We can now switch it off because the channel is on, which will close the door. And finally, we can toggle between them. It's currently off, so it'll now go on. And now it's currently on, so it'll now go off. And that is how switch broadcasters work, and that's how each one works. There you go. Hope you enjoyed the video, and there will be more to come soon.